this is the Eclectic News Network. It is a quick video shoot here on a Wednesday. It is August 19th, 2020. Um, <clears throat> kind of just going on about, and I just notice something big is going to be happening. I don't know what it is. And it's always times like this, right before something big is going to happen. I don't know what it is. Um, felt the same way before September 11th, like in September, or July and August, kind of the same kind of feeling, having some weird dreams, um, <clears throat> and just some, some weird, weird dreams. And I already kind of know what's going to happen, but to kind of articulate it to the average person, they probably won't even understand it. Um... So the summer is almost over with, and you have, you know, the uh, political reality show, um, politics is show business for ugly people. You have Joe Biden, you have Cam uh, Car Carmela or Carmelo Anthony or whatever her name is. What's her name? Oh, Carmela Harris or Car oh Kamala, 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 Kamila. <laughs> And then you have Donald Trump, who literally puts his foot in his mouth every five minutes, saying, yeah, Oleander's a great treatment, which could actually kill you. So I don't know if Donald Trump is pretty much controlled opposition, in my opinion. I don't think he's really there to save the people. I don't think he's there to give the people a choice. I think that he is basically just controlled opposition because they hate Biden so much and, and uh, Kamala Harris so much. But it was a smart pick by, by picking Kamala Harris because she will probably appeal to the suburban white housewife, uh, to be honest with you. A low information voter who pretty much is vain, narcissistic, and pretty much has no scruples. Um, you know, basically cheats on everybody with the, you know, basically a pulse. That's the one she'll pretty much vote over. Um, that is a smart pick because that's what put Trump over in 2016. Um, you know, as far as the post office or whatever, it, it really doesn't matter. Number one, there was never mailing and voting. There's there's a request for a absentee ballot if you're out of country or you have dual residences or if you're disabled or, you know, something like that. You can request a mail-in ballot. That's called an absentee ballot. There's no such thing as mail-in ballots. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a coronavirus or if it's a, a pandemic. That part I do agree with Trump with. I don't, th I think that is rigged. <clears throat> and that's not my full frontal endorsement of Mr. Trump. I'm not saying that. I, I'm not endorsing him. I'm endorsing the other people either. I'm not voting in this election. And I think that's the problem Trump's going to have. There's a lot of people that voted for him in 2016 that won't vote this time. And when people say, this is the most important election ever. If we don't win this election, we're going to fall to socialism. Well, we're, we're already socialistic. <laughs> I mean... He's bailing everybody out. So to sit there and say, we'll be a socialistic country, uh, his campaign people are doing a very piss poor job, to be honest with you. Um, when you pass $7 trillion in CARES Act or whatever it is, how many trillions it is now, and another bailout, and you're basically receiving $600 a week, now $400 a week, you're basically getting welfare. And that's what it is. Um, let's just call it for what it is. So to sit there and say that we, if we lose to Kamala Harris and Biden, uh, or, you know, whatever, we're, we're going to be a socialist. We're already a socialist country. So don't even give me that crap. Number two, Joe Biden's not going to make it to the election. The guy literally just said last night, uh, this is my husband, or, or my, my, my husband, Joe Biden. And the guy's just like literally in left field. I don't even know why they're running him. I really feel bad for the people and her wife does not care about him that is an awful wife i'm sorry but that guy he wants to debate his mental and physical fitness or whatever he said when he screwed that up and he said turn on the record player seriously turn on the record player dude i mean yeah some people that are my age have record players because they like to listen to vinyl it's got a better bass sound but i don't you know talking to kids zoomers and Gen Z and Gen, you know, millennials, 
they're not going to, you know, look at that. So, <laughs> I mean, the thing is, it's torture having him continue to go on. He needs to be on a funny farm. Um, assisted living. He's got basically senile dementia going towards Alzheimer's. Um, and it hits men harder than it hits women, by the way. Um, so I don't think he'll make it. Now, will Kamala be the first female president by default? I, I still think Trump is going to win the election. But there'll be so much fraud on both sides that it's going to be held up. Um, they're saying that, oh, if he wins, we're, we're going to just have our own, you know, the Democrats are going to say they're, they're going to have their own inauguration. I just laugh. And I'm like, okay, so you're going to secede from the union like in 1860. So that could be a possibility too. They might have their own states. That would be interesting. Um, but also too, I think that uh, there's another part in this, you know, <clears throat> Something big happening, like I was talking about. I think there's going to be an event that's going to be big in September or October. That is going to be life-changing. I don't know what it is, but I have a gut feeling. And it's a feeling I haven't had in almost 20 years. And it's something going to be really awful. Who knows? It could be a nuke, tactical nuke. It could be, um, you know, something bad. Or it could be something good. I don't know. But I don't know if anybody else out there is getting that same same type of feeling. That's actually awake. I'm not talking about the zombies out there that, that are literally watching porn all the time and, and eating ramen noodles. I'm talking about the people that are actually educated, people that are actually alert, mentally and physically, spiritually awake. I'm talking about the people that are sentient human beings that have their own thoughts. I'm not talking about the, the zombies that sit there and watch Pornhub all day and eat ramen noodles. So if you know, let me know. But this is a Eclectic News Minute. Minute? I can talk today. I need some coffee. I'll talk to you later.